You're watching Texas Gun Blog. Today we're looking at the AMT Automag 3 pistol chambered in 30 carbine. A little bit about the original Automag design. In 1970, Automag Corporation President Harry Sanford opened a factory in Pasadena, California. The first gun was shipped on August 8, 1971, and the factory declared bankruptcy on May 3, 1972 after making fewer than 3,000 guns. Production guns were made in 44 AMP, which stands for Automag Pistol. Experimental pistols were made in 45 ACP, 30 Automag Pistol, and 357 Automag Pistol. Except for the 45 ACP guns, changing calibers required only the additional barrel and cartridges. The same frame, magazine, and bolt could be used on both. The Automag Corporation was short-lived for several reasons. The design team, which took the Automag pistol from a fully functional and working chromoly steel prototype designed by Max Guerra to a more complicated and less reliable stainless steel pistol, disagreed with Harry Sanford about how the company should proceed. The design team was convinced the Automag pistol was not ready for production and could not be pr produced for a profit. The design team believed that even with the correct finished design, the wholesale price of the gun needed to be greatly increased or the company would go bankrupt. The design team was unable to convince Sanford and they all resigned. The pistol was then rushed into production by a group that were not concerned with the gun making a profit, but only that it got into production immediately. This led to expensive manufacturing processes and later, Pasadena guns were not fitted well as there was a constant push to get the product delivered. Severe underpricing of the Automag pistol to indicate a huge market demand to potential investors made success impossible. A final analysis showed that the Automag Corporation lost more than $1,000 on each pistol, as was predicted by Max Guerra when he sold his stock in the company over a year earlier. Each pistol sold wholesale for around $170. The pistols originally sold retail for $217.50. Used auto mags now can fetch between three and four thousand dollars if original. The auto mag, whether chambered in 22 Win Mag or 30 Carbine, is a very sought-after gun by a lot of collectors. Uh, they are very easy to find on the used market, but finding them at a good price is pretty hard. Usually in 30 carbine, these will be right around $1,000, if not more. So if you're looking for an AMT or you've got an AMT for sale, you can find us on our website at www.texasgunblog.com. As always, we do appreciate you watching our videos, and if you have not yet, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. Thank you.